19 years old soldier soldier has just returned from the prolonged marching exercise and present with sudden onset severe pain in the forefoot clinical examination reveals tenderness along the second metatarsal bone plain x-ray taken of this area this demonstrate the callus of the surrounding of the shaft of the second metatarsal what may be the diagnosis here are the options options are estes fracture morton's neuroma osteochondroma acute osteomyelitis and fravers disease so what may be the option but again let's see the scenario a soldier prolonged marching exercise and suddenly he feel pain in the forefoot and usually in the second metatarsal area and on x-ray there is callus of the surrounding of the shaft of the second metatarsal what may be the diagnosis so first of all let's see this is a stress fracture and a stress fracture here we can see this is the second metatarsal bone and this picture also here we can see the stress fracture in the navicular bone here the stress fracture of the navicular bone so let's see the stress fracture what is a stress fracture a repeated activity or repeated trauma to a definitive site causes a stress fracture and loading of a normal bone may result in a small hairline fracture so this is very very important that the repeated activity repeated injury of a, a small bone uh, or in a bone it causes a small hairline fracture and this fracture when this fracture occur then callus formation occurs the around the joint but again when this works repeatedly occur then this callus also broken down then again callus formation and then broken down and this cycle continues and it may be painful when the this is painful it is very very painful and this is seldom displaced that means the fracture part of the bone they are not displaced from each other and surrounding soft tissue injury is unusual may present late following the injury in which case callus formation may be identified in radiograph such cases may not require formal immobilization so when there is more more callus formation in this condition the formal immobilization that means the plaster or cast usually not required Injury associated with severe pain presenting at the earlier stages may benefit from immobilization the site of the injury. That means when there is a severe, severe pain in case of acute condition, in this condition immobilization is helpful. That means the plaster or the slab may be helpful in this condition. So what is it? It is the stress fracture. Why stress fracture? Because they are the repeated time trauma to the second metatarsal cell and it causes the stress fracture. So when in case of a shoulder they are repeatedly marching then uh, when there is injury and this type of injury of the bones is known as the stress fracture which is a hairline type of the fracture